Alright, let's beat the Blood Brothers in Guardians of the Galaxy with no damage on hard mode. What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys! Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! In this phase, you can't actually damage either of them. Without another Guardian present, there's nothing you can do to damage them here. So what I am going to do though is try to perfectly dodge their attacks because perfectly dodging their attacks builds up my bonus meter. Uh, 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 Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, uh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, nah, Ross. Can we just talk about this? Ronnie Little Terry is scared! Don't we know each other? That one job on the tracks here, baby! His mouth moves more than his jumping boots! It's boot boy! Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I've got Gamora with me, I can put damage on them because they'll get separated more often. You're really meant to try to lure them apart, but honestly, they seem to separate themselves well enough, often enough, without needing you to try to lure them, so I'm not going to really bother with that. Here I'm using Fan the Hammer to break them from sinking up. They will heal a little bit if you don't break them, so yeah, you want to make sure you break them. And it's a chance to put extra damage on them too, once you do break that sink. Receive. 
Another reason why I'm not really concerned about trying to lure them is my priority here is to no damage this fight and to do that properly I want to make sure I keep both of them on my screen in my line of sight if I can. You do get warning indicators to let you know when they're attacking from off screen but not always, not with all of their attacks. So I find it much easier to keep them in my line of sight so that I can dodge their attacks when I see them coming. Alright, they're sinking up again, so once again I want to use Fan the Hammer to break their sink. Also, I don't want to stand near them when I'm using Fan the Hammer during their sinking because they do emit like a shock wave that will knock you down if you're standing too close. So it's best to stand a little bit further away from them when doing that. Alright, they're sinking again. Oh, and the huddle ability is up. I could get a damage buff by pressing R1 and L1, but I really don't like the huddle mechanic. It breaks the flow of the fight for me, so I'm just going to live without the damage buff, I think. This is the final phase, not much different to the other phases, except now I also have Gamora and Drax, and the brothers are a bit more aggressive, but there's really no new mechanics here to worry about. I could also use Quill's freeze mechanic to slow one down and try to keep them separated maybe, but so far what I've been doing is working, so I think I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. And you know what, now that I think about it, I suspect this boss fight is nothing but an illusion. I think every phase might actually be on a timer and you really just have to survive until the timer counts down. I'll bet you could win with only dodging, just like I did in phase one. I might actually put that to the test after this. With fervor! And that's the end of the fight, which I think pretty much proves it's only on a timer, since neither brother died. Now I have to crawl to my weapons, but when I reach them, it'll switch to an interactive flashback scene, and after that's complete, it will start a whole brand new chapter, which there's no point showing here. So with that, I'm Fuzzy Barbarian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.